With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let's start the question. The question says that a current I carrying circular wire of radius R is placed in a magnetic field B perpendicular to its plane. The tension D along the circumference of the wire is. So we have to find out what's the tension along the circumference of the wire. Now we know that whenever you have a current carrying conductor and it is placed in external magnetic field, it is going to experience a force and the magnitude of the force is given by I L B sin theta. Therefore the magnitude of force depends upon the angle between length and magnitude of the magnetic field. Now, for this given circular wire, we can consider an element on the circular wire. Let's say this is the element which we consider. So, let's redraw the circular wire here. So, if I am redrawing the circular wire and considering its element. So, let's say this is the center. So, I am considering an element here such that the length of the element which I am going to consider is dl and this length subtends an angle theta at the center. So, the angle subtended by it, let it be theta at the center. Now, we know that dl has a constant relationship with theta and if I am looking at this element dl, it is going to experience a small force df and the tension generated in the wire will be towards the center because whatever magnitude of the magnetic field is perpendicular to the plane. So, if we are finding out L cross b, it will be towards the center. Therefore, the force experienced by it will now be equal to the component 2t sin theta by 2 will be equal to a t because of this n and t because of this n so it will be 2t sin theta by 2 that should be equal to i into b times dl so for small angles sin theta is approximately theta by 2 therefore if theta is small we can write sin theta by 2 as theta by 2 so on simplification we will be getting now 2t times theta by 2 will be equal to i b d l. Now they are asking us to find out t value. So if I am calculating t value, we will now be getting t value on substituting theta as t will now be equal to this 2, this 2 goes away i b d l divided by theta. i b d l divided by theta. Now d l by theta can further be rewritten as the radius of the circle. Therefore, I will be getting tension T will be equal to IB times R. So, this will be the tension developed in the wire and hence the correct option will now be equal to option number 1. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.